Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start part two of Yahoo Maps. And if you haven't been to the Flash Developer Center lately, you need to go there again because a few things have changed. So go to developer.yahoo.com forward slash flash forward slash maps, and you want to download the new API. There's been an iteration since Yahoo Parts 1. And there are a number of new examples that you want to check out and load into Flex. Definitely the Markers and Custom Markers app We'll be using both of those in this tutorial series. So let's go to the Developer Center and take a look. We're on the Developer Center here. And basically, there is a new iteration of the API. So go ahead and download that. It does seem a little faster than the last iteration, so I'm pretty happy with it. So click on that, download that, and we're going to show you how to get that into the uh, project. We're going to go step by step once again. And you want to check out the examples. A number of new examples have been added. And they're pretty terrific. And specifically, we'll be working with the markers that was there last time. But what Yahoo has added uh, since then is are a number of uh, utilities. But one is a custom markers application and the weather map application. We'll, we'll be loading and using the custom markers application. Uh, basically, they've created a custom uh, marker, and we'll be expanding upon that class quite a bit to add audio, video, and images. So let's get started. Okay, we're back in Flex. So let's go ahead and start a project. We're going to start from scratch and load everything in and show you how to do that if you've forgotten. And create Flex and let's start a new project. We'll call this Yahoo Maps Part 2. And hit Next and Finish. And there's two things we need to do here. We need to load in the marker code and we also need to link that Yahoo Maps component, the SWC, in our library. So let's go and load the code in first. Go to the Yahoo Maps uh, examples. Click on that. And let's bring up the markers. And just click on View Source. And let's just grab that code. Let's copy it. Go to our new project, to our MXML, and go to Source. And let's just cut and paste that uh, in right there. Let's paste that right, right in there for the blank code. And now we have our code ready, but we need to put our SWC in and uh, link it. So let's uh, put the SWC in the library's component. So go back to the Yahoo Maps site. So go back to the Yahoo Maps site. And what you want to do is go ahead and download the uh, component. put that wherever you put your downloads, unzip it, and then grab it. So I've downloaded the Yahoo Maps zip, a 9.1 beta, and I've unzipped it. So let's go into the folder, and we're looking for the build, and go ahead and copy the Yahoo Map, SWC, and let's go back to Flex and paste that into Flex. And we'll just paste that into the Libraries folder. And now we're going to want to link that, so right-click on the project folder and go to Properties. And go to Flex Path, Library Path. And you can see the Yahoo Map.swc is already in the Library Path, so we're good. Let's run the program and see if it runs correctly. And there indeed, there's our 1,000 obnoxious markers, and I'll hit uh, resize or desize that over again. And let's go ahead and fix that so we only have 100 as we did last time. Matter of fact, let's just change it down to 10. So we back, back to the code, and we're going to be interested in this portion of the code anyway. So we'll just review this. Uh, here's our for loop generating the 1,000 markers. Let's just make it 10. Hit save, and now let's run the program again and now we only have 10 markers. And it's in this area we're going to be interested in going and reprogramming because what we want to do is bring those markers in from an XML file so that they are positioned wherever we want them to be. One last thing you're going to want to do is go and grab that Yahoo key and I showed you how to do that last time. So here's the key that I got from Yahoo and we're going to copy that and put that into our map. And what you want to go to, to do is surf up here and look for the API string that is right here. 
and I'm going to paste my key right in there. And there we go. Let's run that and make sure we're good to go. So we'll save that and we'll run it. And now we're ready to proceed to actually creating the XML back in for this marker code. So everything we've done to this point has been a review of last time, but now we're going to move into a different area where we actually learn how to bring in XML files into Flex and actually use that to set our markers. Now I've already done that in another person's project, Roxanne's site, and I'm going to show you how to pull code from one site to another. And in this project, uh, I actually, it's a little bit different, but it uses the same technique. So let's go ahead and bring up Roxanne's uh, poetry site, and we're going to run that site so you can take a look at it. So basically we're looking at a tile list component in this program. When you click on a different tile of that list, you bring up a different video. And all those videos are brought in from an XML backend. Let's take a look at that code real quick. So we're going to bring that code in from the back end using something called an HTTP services command. And uh, we've actually done a whole series on this called FlexPress on YouTube. So just go to YouTube and check out my FlexPress if you don't understand what's going on here. We go through it in painful detail. But the most important thing here is the URL. You see myxml2 forward slash mydata.xml. If you go into that folder, you can see there's an XML folder right there. And there's my XML folder, and I'm actually bringing all that data in on the fly through the HTTP service command. And that's what we want to do for the Yahoo Maps. And so we're going to actually put these codes side by side, and we're going to actually just pull from one code to the other until we create this whole system. Now, the one thing I'm going to need right away, I know, is a folder for my XML. So let's go back to our Yahoo Map part two, and right-click on the SRC folder and create new. And let's create a folder. And we'll just call that folder my XML. And since I'm basically going to be modifying an XML uh, piece that I already have, let's just copy this XML data. And let's paste this right into our MXML. And now we're going to be going in here and changing this so it corresponds with what we need for our map data. So let's go in and modify that XML that we grabbed from Roxanne's uh, poetry site and, and change it to what we need for the uh, Yahoo Maps site. So I'm going to open this up with a text editor. And basically you can see this was for bringing in video data. So we had a title, a JPEG, a video, and a description. So some of that we'll still use for the Maps uh, project. The title's still good, but now we need to add a longitude and latitude tag. Now, the great thing about XML, you just make your tags up. Now, this was a little bit confusing for me at first. What do you mean, make your tags up? Well, you make up whatever tags you want, but you've got to create a code or program that reads those tags. So you need to have something waiting on the other side. So what confuses you is actually extremely simple and very powerful. So I'm going to first need a longitude and latitude tag. So I'm, I've already written those. I'm going to cut and, and paste those right. And so now I have a longitude and latitude, and this is a longitude and latitude for the Covington area in Kentucky. So all I did is made up a couple of tags, my launch with the longitude number, forward slash my launch with the closing tag, and my lat for latitude, mine is 84.510098, with a closing tag, my lat. That's all there is to it, it's that simple. Now I have a JPEG, but I'm also going to want an audio. So I've already created that tag. Let me cut and paste that in for you. Save me a little bit of typing, but you'll get the idea here. And I just create a tag. And there's an audio tag, and we'll just call that demo mp3. And uh, I have a video tag, and I have a description tag. And that's all the tags I'm going to need. So I've written my tags. I can go ahead and cut out all these other tags. I don't need them. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in all the other data. So if you get the structure right, we're good. And now I have my XML completed. So we have this XML basically shaped by this My Video tag at the beginning and closing My Video tag at the end, Video Data. And in between that are the, uh, in a sense, the children of that tag, the My Data here and the My 
data here, and there's several chunks of that, each one of those consisting of my title, my launch, my lat, my JPEG, my audio, my vid. Now, now that I've created all those tags, I need to have folders in Flex to hold all that information. So it's very simple to create these folders. Just, just right-click on the SRC folder and go New and create a folder. And the first one will be uh, Images, or just we'll call it Image. And we'll create another folder and just hit New. And we'll create an Audio folder. Just hit Audio and then Finish. And then just right-click and go New and let's create a uh, video folder. 